Hi, Scorpio. It's Leslie with your with your thoughts and your um readout for um excuse me, readout, you know, your your um forecast for March. And it's a good one, it's a very good one. But uh I just want to thank you again for all your nice, nice comments. Very nice comments for all your views. I really appreciate them. And and subscriptions. And, and I do appreciate your subscriptions very much. And you um you know, suggesting it to your friends or telling them about my page. I really appreciate that very much, so thank you. Your romantic life is at its peak, and it's this is a good month for romance for almost everybody. And you may be thinking of adding to your family. Also, it depends on your situation, but it's it's a good, good month for increase in that way and for uh, romantic life and for love. Some family issues will get straightened out also where you may have been holding uh, a little bit of a grudge or, or not feeling, I won't call it a grudge, feeling, you know, not happy about somebody or something. Some changes even are more exciting than the same old routine coming for you, changes in your life. Of course, I think the COVID is going to get more into control as we go here because the vaccine is out and we'll be able to do some things you haven't, haven't done, haven't been able to do for quite a while at all. Um, you may have a strong feeling on a partner who may be the spark that can create the flame for you. Yes, very much so, Scorpio. Either passion or anger, either way, uh, depending on the situation. And it's 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 a um, it's a it's a sexy month. I don't want to say it's a very attractive month uh, for you to be attracted to someone. Someone may test your patience also in this in this situation. Um, don't take the bait. Don't take the bait. Uh, if you don't play the game, you can't. You can't do that. Show them who is calm, cool, and collective, and don't engage. Just don't engage in it. You'll find it'll turn around and be in your way if you don't engage. And if it doesn't, it wasn't meant to be. And if it's a situation, it'll straighten itself out because nobody can play the game if you don't play. Find time to play, though. Find time to play. And have a good time, Scorpio. You've been working very hard. I know that. The freest and best ideas come from relaxing and releasing and having fun. And releasing, just not having anything on your mind for a little bit. Spiritual thoughts are good. Uh, listening to, to audios, uh, watching some spiritual programs, uh, reading some things on, on Facebook or on uh, Google are all good. They bring us to a higher, higher level. Your best days are the 8th, the 14th, and the 22nd. And let's see what the cards have in store for you. Okay. Here we are. Happy family. So you're going to be able to get get together with family, which I don't think you have because of the COVID. Uh, just recently, I'm just, just happy because the vaccine's out. Um, whoever the older people are, they've already been able to get it or they are going to get it. I believe they've already been able to get it. And you're getting together, which you haven't been able to for quite a while. And it's it's good because maybe there's a distance or um, small children, anyway, <clears throat> or older people. You are afraid afraid to do that. And now things are leveled out some. By, by the end of March, that was, that's in February, but I'd say by March, April, things will have leveled out some. If you're wondering what you should do about this because you don't want anybody to catch anything, but as long as it's family and you've been together and no one is infected, you're fine with it. You're good. You're very good. I'm wondering if you can go out to go some places you used to go. Always remember, wear your mask. I don't mean to say wear your mask until all is clear and that won't be yet, I don't believe. Here's a new beginning in something, in an idea you're thinking about doing, uh, something new. And it's going to be great. It's going to be great. This is the end card, but it's, it's uh, up from the emotional dead. Revival, renewal, new life. Um, and it'll come with this. It'll be something very spark and make you happy. Here you are. Uh, and money is going to come. You'll have some money coming in because of these ideas. And you'll be able to help other people. You will be helping other people with this. Uh, this is when you have spent a lot of time or just came naturally, but in time, knowing who you are, knowing that you're, you know, God made you and he doesn't make junk. That's what you know. And you know, you, you don't have to be afraid of people not liking you, people not doing you, because why, there's nothing not to like about you. Do remember that. And somebody is coming in. If you're looking for um, romance, somebody is coming in. They may not come in 
just as much as you'd like them to, is quick, but they will be coming in. You wouldn't have this card here in your opposition unless it was going to happen. Sue is going to pick your card, your angel card. She says, think with your heart and not your head. Oh, well, that's the opposite of what I usually say. <laughs> but maybe this is the time for you to do that this month. Because this is like a message from your angel. And I do want to say thank you again. But I'm looking, we're looking for a new um, intuitive or psychic to join our line, to join our psychic family. And my... Um, my number is 800-541-6999, or if you'd like to write or text me at this number at uh, Leslie Psychic Gmail, please feel free to, as long as you've had experience in the field. Um, and, and thank you very much, and have a great month. Bye-bye.